I'm Jason Barr from the Pac-12 to the Big 12. It's a year of transition for Arizona athletics, certainly off the field. Behind the scenes, the Wildcat Department is working on its playbook to make sure the university is ready for what will be a very different 2024-25 sports schedule. We're inside the Hall of Champions at McHale Center, and Brent Blaylock is dusting off an old Western Athletic Conference trophy. The WAC will soon have company in the category of former conferences for the University of Arizona. New opportunities create new challenges, and certainly the Big 12 is going to be that for us. When the U of A announced it was headed to the Big 12, it needed a new team, that is, a transition team. You know, a lot of this right now is learning. And Athletic Director Dave Heakey presented uh, Blaylock, a senior associate AD, well and like. Crystal Swindlehurst, an assistant vice president in the athletic department, the challenge of being the Big 12 transition co-chairs. This may be one of the biggest that we've taken on because this truly affects all stakeholders with Arizona athletics. You know, this impacts our student athletes, our coaches, our staff members, student athlete parents, our fans, our donors, all of that. Right they now, have to know. develop their own game plan to comply with the Big 12 bylaws. Whether that comes to broadcasting our own events or how games are scheduled or what days of the week our teams may be playing. If anyone knows about the Big 12, it's Blaylock. The costs are, are the big part to, to the move, and that's something we're still trying to, to figure out. He used to work at the Kansas University Athletic Department. You go throughout the, the, the Big 12, and these are a lot of communities that rally around uh, their, their school. So um, because of that, you, you see a lot of sold-out uh, environments. You, you see people that are loud. The job isn't a sprint, but it's not a marathon either. Arizona officially joins the Big 12 next summer, so there are timetables. Our two most immediate challenges are one best understanding what's going to be expected of us from the Big 12 once we make that transition and second understanding that we know what this move is and how it impacts all of our programs and, and, and student athletes we we can't assume anything the University of Arizona spent 45 years in the Pac-12 Blaylock and Swindlehurst now have less than one year to get the Wildcats ready for the Big 12 we now have a, a, a lot of places that we've never been before. And one day, perhaps in the not-too-distant future, there will be some Big 12 champion hardware here in the Hall of Champions.